try to catch some strappers. We got the boat behind us. Uh, yeah, we're just going to try to catch a couple strappers, maybe a couple largemouth. Uh, I doubt we'll see any catfish, but uh, I went out yesterday just kind of scouting, not fishing or anything, and uh, there was just fish all over my depth finder. Now my depth finder is old, it's not fancy by any means, it just tells you what's there. Um, and there was just a lot about 6 to... 15 feet and then there was a lot down deep I don't have anything with me that will go down deep everything's already packed up for the beach so we're gonna try to get something in that 15 to 6 foot range and uh, I think I got just the thing my guys over at Mystery Tackle Box sent it my way now the one of those is the newest one that I got and the other ones a bunch of crap my dad gave me so uh, we're gonna try to use nothing but mystery tackle boxes stuff that, today. They sent me two or three things that I'm gonna try. Um, one's a rattle trap type deal. Uh, one's a spinner bait, and then one's a swim bait. So uh, we'll see what we can do. If we can get anything to bite. I'm not very hopeful. It's like seven o'clock in the evening right now. So uh, let's do it and see what happens. I mean, all we can do is try. We're about three minutes away from the ramp. And then we're gonna launch and go fishing. See you guys there. All right guys, so I just realized that I never made an outro to this video. So uh, we caught two fish. Uh, a little dink of a bass and a little bleh, excuse me that miller lights getting to me but we caught that bass and then we caught that brim which i believe is goggle eye it may have been a little sunfish i'm not too good at um seeing what kind of species the fish are sorry that light's right in y'all's eyes but uh, either way, we caught those two fish on that crankbait. Um, so I'm going to go back out tomorrow and try again. Hopefully we can catch some more fish. Uh, I'm going to get out there probably about 3.30 instead of... Shit, it was almost 7 when we got there tonight. So uh, hopefully tomorrow and just uh, go from there. So... See you guys in the next one. Uh, I may or may not record tomorrow. Just depends. So uh, see you guys next time. And uh, as always, it's easy. Take it twice. Got that from Mandio. See y'all. So we just made it to the ramp. The water looks absolutely fantastic. It's a little clear for what I like on this lake. I mean, this place is called Crystal Springs. Um, it's on Lake Washita on here in Arkansas. Um, and I, I, I've never had good luck with this lake while it's super clear. Um, there's a lot of people that swear by this lake when it's absolutely crystal clear, but I don't know. So uh, we're gonna, give her a full send anyways and see what we can do i mean there's fish breaking already i don't know what they are but uh yeah the lake looks absolutely fantastic all right guys so we are now on the lake i'm sorry this is loud my motor's super loud all i have is this little 15 horse uh johnson and uh it's a dang good motor i mean pull the choke out Pull one time and it starts most of the time. Uh, every now and then it'll be a little stubborn. Um, but we are out on the water now. As you can see, we got the two rods. And then uh, we don't have that much gas to burn. I didn't want to go all the way to the gas station. So uh, we're gonna stay pretty close to the ramp. Uh, we may go back in past the marina and just, Try back there. I've never really fished back there all that much. 
um, except for when the bass were spawning. Didn't catch that much back there, but uh, I guess we'll get back there and we'll hook up the depth finder and just see what we got. So, uh, yeah. My boat's not very big. All I got as a live well is a lake and a stringer. But I do have an anchor if we could just absolutely get on some. We can uh, wing anchor her down and uh, go from there. So uh, I'll see you guys when I get to the first spot. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. mystery tackle box where is it so this is what I'm mainly interested in it's a Vexan deep thud uh, Nokin crankbait trophy game fish so we're gonna try that and then I'm really wanting to try this right here these little swim baits um, 22 grams three quarter ounce so uh we're gonna try that and then like i said they sent a, a sp spinner so we're gonna try that i love getting this and getting these stickers so uh i'm gonna tie on right now because my rod was all packed up for the beach and now i gotta retie so uh just running some 20 pound uh, mono braid on there. I thought it was real braid and it turns out to be mono. So uh, right now we're not showing anything on the depth finder, but uh, we'll start cruising around a little bit and try things out, see what we can do. Maybe uh, Mystery Tackle Box will sponsor me after this video, who knows? All right guys, we're changing spots. Uh, not really producing any like we were yesterday. There's a lot down deep, just nothing in my, where I can fish. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I don't know what to do, honestly. I think I'm just gonna move back here to where I normally fish, see what I can do back there, and just go from there. That's all I know to do. Like I said, we may go back there behind the marina uh, see if anything back there. I had two fish jump back there where I was. And I was just right over there. Um, and this is a spot where a lot of people fish. So that may have something to do with it. But we're going to head back here to where I normally fish and see what we can do. It's a little bit cooler back there. Maybe they'll be a little more shallow. See you guys there. pocket it, it, it's a very very big pocket and I'm back here in the very back on this corner and uh, already there's a lot of good signs there's a lot of bugs on top of the water a lot of uh, bubbles coming up like something's on the bottom disturbing it's not a super deep area let's see if I can get up here and uh see how deep it is i believe it's 30 feet deep at the max uh, let's see here but i've been back here several times and yeah right here it's it's 10 foot deep uh i've only seen one other person back here fishing look at all the bait fish and stuff that's in there but uh that actually may have been a tree right there yeah, it looks like that was a tree. But I've only seen one other person back in here fishing. I mean, it's kind of a sketchy area to get to. Not showing any fish yet, but that's okay. The only people that really fish back here is people with small little flat bottoms like I got, because it is pretty shallow. So uh, we're gonna give her a shot and see what we can do. I'll let you guys know if I can produce. Yeah. All right, guys, we finally produced a little dink, but nonetheless, it's a fish. Thank you, guy. Mwah. Always thank the Lord above for giving me the fish to catch. 
Thank you, Lord. And we caught that sucker on, come here, this little rail trap here. Oh, slow down. That thing. But, uh, he didn't hit it very hard. He kind of just grabbed it and went with it. But, uh, we're going to try to catch another one. I'm not seeing a whole lot of action here. He was pretty close up on the bank, probably six foot down. So, We'll see what we can do. We got a party barge coming that's cruising, so I'm gonna get off here and get to fishing. Well, guys, I caught something uh, a little unexpected. Goggle eye on, uh, I believe that's a goggle eye. It looks pregnant, but uh, a decent size brim, as most people would call them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, fish. Uh, on that cr same crankbait. So uh, who knows what tonight, you know, turn into. I'm not gonna keep anything unless it's just big. But uh yeah. Let's keep going. <laughs> 